everybody, welcome back to Samsung in a Minute, the channel that trains you on your Samsung Galaxy devices in two minutes or less. Today, we're gonna to talk about the lock screen floating icons. It's a way that you're able to clean up your lock screen and have a floating icon that holds your two shortcuts. So originally by stock, out of the default, when you pull your phone out of the box, you'll see two icons on the bottom, the one on the left and one on the right. These are shortcuts that you're able to basically swipe up and open to get into the phone. Now, as you also notice, I do have my fingerprint set up, and so it actually hides a small icon, which is this one right here. So the one thing that is nice is that if you do have your fingerprint set up, all you have to do is just keep holding on the screen, swipe to the left or to the right to open your application right away. So in order for you to enable this, you wanna pull down the notifications panel, click on the settings icon and scroll down to lock screen. Now inside of lock screen, you're gonna scroll down just a little bit more and this is where you can see your app shortcuts and usually it would have looked like this out of the box. It could have been maybe your messages and then maybe your phone. But I go through and I make it messages in YouTube as it is the main two applications I use. But because I wanted to clean up my lock screen, I don't want icons on the bottom left and right. And since I have to unlock my phone anyways to use those two applications, you can set this option here, which is floating button. So it's kind of a floating button underneath the fingerprint reader. So this way you can go inside super quick. So just to show this in real time, if I was to go back to the lock screen, I have to unlock my phone anyways. I swipe to the right and now I'm inside of YouTube or I could have also done messages. Now, besides that, what you would have to do is let's say we go back inside of the lock screen and really quick, I wanna go back inside of just the normal bottom corner applications. If you wanted to go inside of YouTube, you would still have to unlock your phone either by pin or with your finger. To clarify really fast, if you don't have your fingerprint set up, so this little fingerprint icon's not there, what you will see is this little dot. And when you press and hold, then you'll see your two applications shortcuts. So I hope that you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit on subscribe. You can subscribe right over here at the very bottom left hand side. If you liked this video, then more than likely you're going to like this one right over here and I'll see you guys later.